So I found this pair of white overalls. Probably the most exciting thing are these white overalls. So now I'm getting set up to dye. I'm a little bit scared. So excited to see how these turn out. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Catherine and I make videos about dyeing, sewing, and upcycling. Today I'm gonna be doing a ice dye project with some white denim overalls that I thrifted. All right, so let's go over the supplies and then let's get into the project. I'm gonna be using this Jacquard Procyon dye kit with 13 colors and I will link it in the description below. Last week I made a video swatching all the colors and you can go back and watch that. I'll put the link in the description below and at the end of the video. So first I'm going to start by washing these overalls just to make sure they're free of any excess grease or dirt. These overalls do have some stains on them, which is why I decided that they were perfect for ice dyeing. And I'm going to come in with my string and I'm just going to start tying up pieces of the overalls. I'm starting with the straps here and I'm just making some tight loops around with the string and I'm just getting it as tight as I can and tying it off. I decided to go with this kind of pattern because the overalls are so stiff and they're kind of a totally random shape so it's really hard to get any sort of like geometric pattern on them. So I've just kept going and making little geode ties, um, kind of making peaks with the fabric and tying it and then making another concentric circle around that first peak until I get this sort of massive blob. I just worked my way through the entire pair of overalls and this did take a long time. So here is the finished product where it's all tied up and the next thing I'm going to do is mix up my soda ash. So I have mixed up about half a cup of soda ash with a gallon of water and then I'm adding my old soda ash solution that I just had in my studio. So I reuse my soda ash solution. I'm going to make sure that the overalls are completely submerged and wet and let them soak for about 20 minutes. I'm going to show you a little bit of my setup. Here's my dye. It's all ready to go and I have my plastic knives. I have a plastic Rubbermaid and some ice. And here's the bucket of the soda ash solution with my piece. If you guys are looking to learn more about dyeing, I recommend checking out more of my tutorials on my channel. And also I have multiple online dyeing classes on Skillshare. You can watch them for free if you're a member. And if you wanna check out Skillshare, you can join for 30 days free with the link down below. After about 20 minutes, I'm going to take my piece out of the soda ash solution, wring it out and put it at the bottom of my plastic container. So now it's time to add my dye and I'm going to start with my lightest colors first. So I'm gonna do golden yellow and I'm just going to put it all over the piece. If you haven't already, I'm gonna ask you to please hit the like button. It's free and easy for you to do and it does wonders for this video. Next, I'm going to put on my antique gold, which is a very similar color to the other yellow, but I just wanna have a little bit of a nuanced yellow. Next, I'm coming in with some emerald green, and this one turned out really cool when I did the swatches. It was like a combination of turquoise and lime, so I'm a big fan of this color. Next, I'm going to come in with a little bit of turquoise, which is kind of a lighter color, so I'm just going to use a little bit. When I made swatches of this kit, the turquoise turned out really light, and I've had other turquoise colors turn out light from Dharma and other types of dye, so there's just something about turquoise. Let me know down in the comments if you found a really good turquoise for ice dyeing because I am looking for one. Next, I'm going to do some cobalt, and this is a really nice color of blue, so I'm just going to put it all over. Wherever there's some blank space, I'm gonna put a little bit of cobalt. And next, I'm going to do medium blue. So this is a pretty dark color, and I'm going to just put it wherever there is white left. 
This is going to have a lot of color by the end. If you've watched any of my ice dyeing videos, you know a lot of times I use negative space with my ice dyeing, but this time I wanted to kind of just go full throttle with the color. And now I am using the marine violet and I'm just putting it wherever there's white left. And last but not least, I'm going in with some fuchsia. I just wanted to really experiment with color on this one. And I'm really glad that I did. But halfway through the project, I was thinking... This is a lot of color. I'm a little bit scared. So at that point, I figured let's just really drive it home and put a little bit more color on any of the white spots. I figured go big or go home when it comes to color on this project. And FYI, I only put color on the top for this one. So now I'm adding my ice and I'm going to let this one sit for 48 hours. I'm making more ice right now and I'll add more later. So after 48 hours, this is what the piece looked like. And I decided that I was gonna add some of the jet black just to make the colors a little less saturated. So this time I added ice directly to the fabric and then I put the black on top of the ice. I used a little strainer that I had and here it is. I'm going to let it sit for another 24 hours. Okay, here it is. Let's open this. Okay, so I have untied the entire thing and it's really hard to know what it's going to look like yet because I need to rinse it and wash it. I think a lot of this color will come out. Um, so let's head to the sink and rinse it. So excited to see how these turn out. I rinsed it with cold until the water ran relatively clear and then I washed it on hot with Centropol, which is also known as Dyer's Detergent. Dyer's Detergent helps to keep the dye from re-dyeing the parts that are not dyed. So here it is, all washed and dried. It really changed color a lot from when I first untied it. And I'm going to cut off the legs. I think I like the back better, but it's very fun and bright. It would be great for wearing with like swimsuit at the beach but these colors are very vibrant and they do a nice job of really sticking to the fabric so i like this kit i can't wait to do more with it these overalls were kind of like a weird capri length so i decided to make them into shorts and i cut the inseam at about seven inches and I just sort of made a clip at the inseam and then I'm going to cut a perpendicular line to the outer seam. And there they are. And I'm going to roll them up a little bit like this. I'm wearing them as maternity overalls in this clip, but I think next summer I'm gonna be able to wear them for a beach cover up. They're super fun and I think this was a very great thrift flip. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. It does wonders for my channel and subscribe for a new video every Thursday. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to check out these other videos. I have a lot of ice dye videos on my channel. So if you're looking for more tutorials and more inspiration, go ahead and check it out.